Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Zero FXB, good morning, welcome to my channel. Just doing a side-by-side -side thing here on the ICOM 7300 and the new ICOM ID52 full dual band D-Star radio. So for me, if you've already got an ICOM 7300, this could be an option instead of getting an ICOM IC9700. And I'll tell you why. So obviously let's quickly look at the... 7300 so it's 7 a.m. in the UK here southwest see if we can get anything a couple of UK, UK stations rag chewing And as you know, with the 7300, you've got a built-in tuner. I'll turn that on like so. We've got a G5RV connected. And we'll just run the, we'll turn the power down. Turn it right down like so. Tuner's on and then let's hold tuner. And it tunes and then you've got the bands all these different bands you can input the band hf to six meters very nice set you've got the band scope of course and then the audio scope too many buttons here audio look at that you've got audio scope it's a very nice set to use very well worth it because you get the 100 watts in the radio that's the, that's the downside to some people for the ICOM 705 is you're, you're missing out on the 100 watts. So there you go, 100 watts, all bands. We'll try 40. So very nice. So the obvious thing that many people do is get the ICOM 9700 side by side because it has dual band um, VHF, UHF and 23 SEMS. So uh, obviously that's a very nice radio, same size screen, very similar interactivity. And that radio is going to cost you in the UK about £1,700. So, eventually, when um, ICOM managed to sort out their uh, manufacturing, eventually the UK, you're going you're gonna to have this option of the ID52. Well, uh, the weather is poor season. Uh, weather in Korea, very, very good. But yeah, in here, very uh, long summer. Uh, winter, no snow, but mountain, uh, there's snow. Take the Delta Bravo, anybody yeah. in Canada, over. Over the season, swimming, about almost all uh, seasons, but, so one good, one bad, yeah. But so why consider this over the 9700? Well, I'll tell you why. This is a dual band digital radio. So we can have, at the, at the moment, at the top half, we've got VHF, my all-star node, made by G7RPG, coming in. It's a box. I've registered with all-star, and the box has a Raspberry Pi and a Bofeng CM108 card in it. And it's sending out an all-star analog signal, which is very nice. On the B band, we've got my Pi Star hotspot, jumbo hotspot. But if we go to the top band by pushing main here, hold down DR, you know, you've got DR system here, the same as the 9700. Look, you get DR mode. And we can select the bottom half of that, my open spot. So right now you've got dual D star and it is simultaneous receive. Now, there's no one talking on at the moment. 
on the top band, but you saw it come back to me there. So what we could do is just ask for information. Let's do that. Turn use to repeater information. Key that. It's, there you are. It's telling us it's linked to 030. We could do an echo test. Let's have a listen to my audio. Now we'll go to single mode. So that's we're now in single mode. Now we will get our coordinates show up soon here, but we're just waiting for a lock now. Just to note that the seven three hundred has not got GPS. So the seven three hundred is not really a comparable radio, but as a side by side uh, setup. I think that the um, 7300, and, and I know, and I've spoken to so many hams that have got a 7300. So this is why I just think it's that the Icon 52 is such a good comparison. Anyway, we're still waiting for the lot. Normally it gets it quicker than that. We will do the echo test. Mike Zero Foxtrot X-Ray Bravo. There you are, and it's very good audio both ways. I've got a speaker mic coming for this. I think it's the HM75 LS, and it's a remote speaker mic. It looks very nice. Hopefully, it'll turn up soon. I'll test it with that. So, the usual controls, a bit like the ID51 here, apart from they put the low button for power here. So, four duplex, not duplex, four dual D star VHF UHF. So, we'll put it back into dual. Actually, no, we'll keep it in single. We'll show you the scope. We do need some activity for the scope. Turn that back to use. We'll put the scope on and we'll hope for some activity. There's some activity. Right, there's activity. So now we'll put the scope on. So you've got GPS here, look. Pitch ascending. And that works very well. Straight out of the box, no need for the app. Up to scope. We'll let that run. Now, what a nice lineup is that? I just think it's excellent. What I might do is some live video on this in a bit. Usual digi modes. I don't care how uh, oh. I don't care how flaming uh, warm it is. I don't I don't think I would ever go in. But Some Welsh stations. Right, not much going on now, but it's a funny time of the day. I hope you enjoy your, your time with the rest of his, uh, his family, and uh, well, fortunately, we do have all of my... So what a lovely setup, that's what I think. And this is going to cost about £500 UK. Maybe four fifty dollars. Not sure what the tax is over there in the U.S. And I'll just show you some of the menus. You've got scope, voice, voice record, voice auto transmit, FM radio. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, 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 
Leading climate scientists have admitted they failed to predict the intensity of the German floods and the recent extreme heat in North America. They've correctly warned for decades that a heating climate would bring worse rain and heat waves. But Radio off. Back to the menu. Terminal mode works very well. You can use Doozy out of the box just with a normal micro USB. You don't need you do not need a special cable. Now this this is not a touch screen radio. But you don't need it. You're so used to the 51. You don't need it. Full GPS menus here. The usual DV settings. Bluetooth that works well. SD card for firmware. GPS there, there's all your GPS menu. This looks like D Star History. And, and and many more. There is a a quick menu here, look. Turn the scope off. Look, we've got the lock. We've got now got a GPS lock. That looks very nice. And we can go menu, GPS position, and like we just had. And we can go menu and look at this. How cool is that? That and that is the same display you get on an Icom 705. So if you've already got the 7300 and you don't really want to get the 705 or the 9700, well. If you've already got this, keep saying this over and over again. If you've already got the ICOM 7300, then getting the 52 when it comes out to me seems like a very sensible decision. I'll just show you the side. So you've got the speaker. Oh, it's a bit dark here. Can I get some more light on? Oh, it's a bit too much light there. I'll just show you it. That way, microphone, speaker, DC in and micro USB. And on the other side, PTT, squelch, on off, and then SD card, micro SD card. Now I'll just show you the size difference between the 51 so, there you are, there's your size difference. So, it is, you know, it's, it's definitely a bigger radio. When you first get the 52, you think, oh, that's too big. But after a few days of using it, you realise it's almost like holding a the, the DR and VHF, UHF uh, 705 in your hand. Um, and, you know, and it's got the CIV interface. It hasn't got Wi-Fi. The Bluetooth um, works with the app, RS, is it M1A app? So there you go, just to sort of summarise, and that is, I think, if you've got a 7300, and you've always fancied something like the 9700, this is an option you should be considering, uh, because the two radios just work so well together. So 7.3, I think I'm going to do a live stream of this. Um, and then um, catch you later. Please subscribe to my channel. All the best. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.